Hello Aries and welcome to your tarot general reading for the full moon in Pisces. The full moon in Pisces is going to happen on your 12th house, which is the house of spirituality, introspection, your inner world, hidden things, hidden thoughts. So the full moon in Pisces could really heighten your intuition at this time Aries and really facilitate the connection with the subconscious so this is a period for meditation for really exploring your spiritual side and going deep within um, creating that connection with yourself so let's see what the tarot cards have for you and then we're going to draw an oracle card from the herbal astrology oracle which i really really love because it's going to like bring up some maybe um some herbal um influences that you can use around this full moon in Pisces so let's see the main um, the main influence for you at this time um, Aries is the five of wands reversed so the five of wands reversed uh, it's usually an energy that calls for um, attention around what people behind your back are doing right they might there might be some negative energies that are around you around this time you might be um, becoming aware of some manipulations of events or some information that might come across from from people around you that not don't necessarily have the best interest in place usually when the five of, of ones is is a bride is talking about like this banter back and forth situation where you can really uh, learn a lot about other people and about your abilities and skills but this is a, a bit of a hidden energy that is coming across as something that can really really um, affect you emotionally like something that you didn't quite expect you weren't ready for it right so let's see what the clarifiers are uh, so we have the nine of once we have the hangman and we have the six of cups so overall this is this might be really related to how you're perceiving things around you right so you may be actually very tired the nine of wands is talking about um an energy of tiredness of saturation this feeling that you have been through so many things and you just need a rest or you don't know how long you can can go on like this right it feels to me like you're ready to raise the barriers around you and like step away from the people and with the full moon in your 12th house it might be a, pe a great period for you because we have the hangman here where you take some time off to reflect on on the perceptions that you have on things it may be that sometimes our mind is really showing us through the lenses of the level of energy that we're at right so if you're tired if you are feeling like you need something new in your life or you feel like you have been in the company of the same type of energies for such a long time and you can't see anything um, better coming your way it might be with this full moon in your 12th house, it might be this calling for you to step a bit back, detach yourself from the situation, detach yourself from the experience and see things from a different perspective. Rest and introspection and going to your uh, peaceful place can definitely give you a new perspective on how things are, right? So, and even if that means like with the, uh, with the Six of Cups here, this can be an, a time of reminiscing, right? This can be a beautiful time for you to sit back, think about a time where you weren't that stressed, think about a period where you felt more relaxed, more carefree, easy to deal with, where you really had trust in, in people's intention and you had the best intentions for them. You had this feeling of grace, feeling of joy and this feeling of openness of charity um, to the people around you emotional charity right and you felt like your emotional needs were understood and you 
you you were kind of op opening up to others in a in a more innocent type of way. I feel this is mostly about this mental sort of fatigue, the fatigue of change as well. I think you might might overreact a bit to the banter. You might take take things too personally at this point, and this is a, a very important cue for you to step away from the situations, give yourself time to process. Give yourself time to rest, allow your mind to take a pause and then come back and look at the situation differently. It might be that the intentions of others are not as, um, as, as cruel as you believe them to be and you have to really consider if this is not the lens that you are judging um, the the interactions with others, right? So let's see what the Herbal Astrology Oracle has for you. I'm going to read it from the book because this is a new Oracle card that, that I'm using and it's quite fascinating to see the connections between the astrology and um, and plants. And this this can give you a cue of what you can, um, what you can meditate on or what you can uh, check to see if can bring some benefits to you so we have rhodiola and it's it's asking for wisdom it's asking for you to really try to judge through the lenses of someone with the with the, the experience um, and try to find the wisdom within yourself to allow others to express without taking things too personally but let's see what what the guide has for you here. Uh, I really love this, this booklet. So, for centuries, rhodiola or golden root has been used in Russian and Scandinavian traditional medicine. Many studies have been published on this root as it has been used to increase physical endurance, longevity, energy, productivity, right? Uh, and resistance to high altitude st sickness and to treat fatigue depression, anemia, impotence, gastrointestinal ailments, infections, and nervous system disorders. So it is, um, it is a, 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 a plant that is used to treat fatigue. So you may want to do a bit of research and see if this is a plant that you can work with around this full moon, right? So the, the rulers is Uranus and Mercury. So it's definitely something that can, can bring up a bit of energy of newness around you, right? So clarity, maybe um, intuitive intellect, right? So let's, let's uh, hope that this full moon is going to treat you kindly, Aries, and let me know how it works for you. I hope this was helpful and see you soon. Take care.